Hey, what's going on guys? Joe here coming at you today from Town Hall 9. Welcome back for another episode of How They 3 Star, where I take a fresh 3 star attack or three of them and explain exactly what you know happened, why they were actually successful, and we talk about a little bit of the planning and the design of the base on why those guys were successful on three starring the base on the first try. Now, I got three replays today. We got two hog attacks and one witch slap. However, I want to kind of go backtrack on last week's video where we left off on the hog riders discussing where to bring the hogs in or where to bring the golems in. And a lot of your questions were, uh, you know, why would you bring three golems opposed to two golems? Some of you guys out there are firm believers in the two golems and more hog riders. And then in some cases, I actually bring the three golems opposed to more hog riders. So uh, I got two replays, two different ones. One with hog riders, uh, well, they both have hog riders. One with three golems and one with two golems. And I'll kind of show what the attacker was seeing in their planning phase. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and kick it off with this first attack, which has the two golem count. Uh, if you look at the base itself first, there are no defenses on the outside of walls. Everything is inside walls. Now, you can see that there's a massive trash ring structure. Uh, you see the queen, you see the clan castle troops, and then you see this location over here that's more than likely a Tesla farm. Uh, in the event that you're using hogs, you're going to probably bring your golems in from the south here to go after the queen, and then meet the clan castle, take it out, and then come in from the back end with the hog riders. Now, there's a couple of things that stand out uh, as the attack gets started here. Using the baby dragon, uh, you can pull out a lot of uh, you know value out of that baby dragon if you can clear out structures. Now down here in the south side of the base, there's a lot of trash. Uh, there's nowhere to really perch up some golems, but other than placing them on the wall. Now you notice that the minions and the archers are being used because they're outside of range of the expo, outside of range of the air defenses or the archer towers. Now once that funnel starts to kind of clear up a little bit, then he'll drop the golems and place them on the wall. Now what's going to happen here is that queen's going to lock onto a golem so you have to be fast about this or that queen's going to chew through that tank and destroy that golem and you're really kind of wasting your time at this point so with that golem on the expo the clan castle has been pulled it is a lava hound so this is going to tie up your kill squad a little bit longer than you would probably like uh, the Barbarian King is in the base. It's going to battle it out with the Queen, and then the Rage Spell is dropped for those bowlers. The bowlers are intended to get deeper into the base, take out more structures, take out more uh, defenses. That way you can kind of thin it out near the end of the raid with the Hog Riders. Now, uh, the, ho the Lava Hound is popped, so once that Lava Hound's popped and the Queen looks like she has uh, all the pups accounted for, then you can start working into the Hog Riders. Now, notice he drops the rest of his Hog Riders once he identifies the Tesla Farm location. So... Using the two golems here, it was a very, very small funnel. You didn't have to spread them out very far. There wasn't a lot of defenses outside of the base. Uh, the rest of this raid here is pretty much textbook. You're going to drop that final heal spell in that compartment where it looks like giant bombs could be placed around that air defense up there. Uh, as he does so there is a skeleton trap and a giant bomb he uses that final poison for the skeleton trap and he will finish up this raid with the hog riders but at the beginning of the raid with the two golems he only needed two golems because it was a very small funnel now on the next raid we're going to show three golems and you'll see a very very large funnel opposed to this raid and if you have to balance back and forth between the replays to kind of grasp the concept uh, it'll make more sense once you see this uh, second raid let's go ahead and get into it guys all right, so the major difference on this base opposed to the previous base is the defenses on the outsides of the base with all the mortars, the cannons, they're all on the outside. You see where the queen's located, you see where the clan castle's located. All these locations could be possible Tesla farm locations or giant bomb locations. So coming in through the south side, taking out the queen and trying to get one of those expos is priority with our kill squad. So starting out with this baby dragon over here on the right side, the two o'clock, the intent is to get in on that mortar and take it down. That way this golem here will sit on this mortar and then move its way down towards the town hall and work the funnel in. Again, down here in the south side, we're going to start our second golem on that mortar and use wizards to clear out. We check the ranges on the cannons to make sure that the wizards be, would be fine. And then the third golem is going to be dropped on the cannon, follow it up with the archer queen. The archer queen is a little bit stronger and it goes a little bit faster than the wizards. So now everything's kind of merging its way into the base. We're holding off on dropping the bowlers until these outside funnels are cleared. And then everything just kind of merges and funnels into the base where the jump spell is located. So bowlers are in, Barbarian King's in, Poison Spell is down, and there actually happens to be a Lava Hound in the clan castle instead of Baby Dragon Witch combination. So it's going to tie up our queen for a little bit longer than we would probably like, especially with the baby dragon and witches that would go down to the poison and queen a lot faster than the lava hound would. So 
Uh, there is a wizard in there assisting the queen. It will go down. Uh, the queen will take care of the pups, and now it's going to start working the hog riders into the base, into the location where there's a possibility of the Tesla farm. There is actually two Teslas there, and we'll drop our heal spell in that location, and then they'll, they'll work their way down towards the south. They're going to run through that lane, find a couple of giant bomb locations. The only problem with this raid is that the poison spells were used on the clan castles and one was not held for the back end of the attack. Now, it, it's uh, very, very, very imperative when it comes to using hog riders that you hold on to one of those poison spells for the event of skeleton traps. Like what's happening here at the final stages of this raid, we are losing hog riders thanks to a skeleton spell or a skeleton trap uh, due to the fact that we did not hold on to a poison spell. Thankfully, we will be able to take down this final Tesla and we will be on cleanup. We will have enough to clean up the base, but it could have been a little bit of a problem there uh, with that skeleton trap taking out hogs and it could have thinned our army out a little bit too thin in order to get this job done. So from here, let's go ahead and take a look at a witch slap and take a look at the base and why it was successful on that base. All right, so now that you see the base, it's a lot different than the previous two raids. There are a lot, this base is completely different. Now, the one trend that we've noticed so far in the previous two attacks with hogs is taking out the queen in the clan castle. Now, if you look at this base, you see the queen in the clan castle. More than likely on the opposite side of the base, there is a Tesla farm in this location over here. So you see where all four of the air defenses are located. Keeping the healers alive on your witches is pivotal when it comes to using the witch slap. Now, uh, ILG is going to do some really cool stuff here with the three jumps and the one heal spell. He's going to start with his witches down here in the south side with a few healers. And then he's going to start over there at the three o'clock corner and work their way in towards the base. Now, he's going to drop a golem with two healers on him because he knew. He just knew that there was a Tesla farm located over there. And so what this is doing is he's uh, healing up that golem as it's distracting the Barbarian King as well as the Teslas. And the witches are working their way in towards the core. Uh, the Archer Queen has been dropped back behind that golem. And the Barbarian King and bowlers will be dropped behind that. Now, you notice the bowlers didn't hit the map until everything on the outsides uh, was cleared out and now there's a, the first jump spell is dropped for the bowlers to go into the base instead of going around the base so the witches are going to work the outer flanks over here and they're going to continue to work the sides taking picking off the archer towers and the wizards and the bowlers and barbarian king and queen will kind of work their way through the core of this base Barbarian King looks like he's about to go down. His ability will have to be used here in a moment uh, as he takes on that second jump. The bowlers are also assisting with picking off the structures for the witches. And now that Archer Queen, unfortunately taking her sweet time, she was unable to crack through the wall or uh, hit the jump spell, so now she's stuck on a wall. So Barbarian King, uh, the, the heal spell is dropped for him and those bowlers as they come into the area where the Archer Queen's located, as well as the Lava Hound. Now there is a Lava Hound over there, so you don't really have to worry about it as much. Uh, if there was Baby Dragon and Witch Valkyrie over there, those bowlers would probably be destroyed. But uh, again, the Archer Queen has joined the group now, finally. She's working on that Lava Hound, and at this point, though, it doesn't really matter. There's, there's three cannons remaining and a few structures and still a bunch of witches. So definitely a different looking base. Think about using the Witch Slap. You notice the previous two attacks, the tight compartments, uh, pretty much just set funnel towards the queen and the clan castle. Definitely use hogs. So something to think about, guys. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thanks for watching, guys.